I'm Susan. Today I'm participating in week 32 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. And our prompts for this week is text in a foreign language. I've got this from, I'm not sure what it is. It kind of looks like French, but I got it in a Happy Mail. Um, something in a circus or carnival. I've got the elephant. And I've got this, well, that's coming up. I've got the elephant. Uh, fire smoke. I've got this house that's on fire. Something with a spine. I've got this man. And it's also something that's in a circus. Something that starts with a T. And I've got tiger. And the bonus is a sticker. And these two items right here were stickers out of my bibliography and antiquarium sticker book. So let's see what we can do with this, see if what we can bring about. So I hope everybody's doing great. I've been doing pretty good. I can't complain. I am just going to fold this over and let it carry over to the other side. I love that image. It's funny. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of this stuff. But I figure something along these lines. I really don't know. <laughs> honest with you what I'm going to do with this. Uh oh. We'll work out something, won't we? Well, I know I'm going to keep him there. So let me go ahead and glue him down and I will work around the rest. But I hope, like I said, I hope everybody's doing great. I am kind of trying to wake up. It's early here, and I am just going to ink this up right quick, and I'm going to glue it down. My husband and I have been watching the best series, although the language is horrendous. I hate the language. But the plot is so good, and that is justified. And we have, I mean, been hooked on this show, definitely. But they, the language is not for the faint of heart. In fact, it almost makes me wish I didn't like the show so much. But we're almost... We're over halfway of the end of this last season. And it's gone quick. We have, it's put in Harlan County, Kentucky, and we always have to say we gotta go visit Harlan. All right, so we, I've got my text. Figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Let's tear it down a little bit. Add it there and add in my elephant. I like that. I like it, so I think I'm gonna do it. Although I think I am gonna ink just around the edges to make it pop from that blue background. I've enjoyed doing these Margaret Miller, Marguerite Miller challenges. They have been so much fun. And this is, I believe, my third year, second or third year doing this. I believe it's my second year. And I have enjoyed it. That may be my third year. That's hard. I don't know. You know, time passes so fast, it's hard to keep track of everything. But, um,. And the way people interpret these prompts is so amazing. 
I mean, it's, it's we could all have, we all do have the same props. And we all come out with something that is so, so different. Got people that do surreal. And that's always fun to watch. And we have people that make a story with it. I've tried that. And I liked my story, but I'm just not very good at it. And then we just have people that just find different items and put them down, which is pretty much along the way I go. I try to make it cohesive, but, you know, sometimes with these prompts, it's not. So I try to make it look pretty, if nothing else. So I'm just going to have to I'm gonna put that over there since the, we've already got yellow on that side to kind of bring it in. I don't know how well I'm going to bring this one together. It may just be a, one of those you glue the pieces down and hope for the best. Okay, well, I have all my have all my objects there. I'm go ahead and ink up this. Sometimes I add this to a pocket. Sometimes I just put it on the page as is. I think I'm going to lean towards putting this on the page as is up here. Kind of break up some of that yellow. I just, I do stenciling and gel prints and so I just grabbed a bunch of my pages when I made this book. So I never know what colors are coming up for what prompts. If it gets to be so bad, I'll cover it with paper. With a digital or something like that. Let me see, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of it's kind of getting lost. I wonder if I can scooch that edge up just a little bit. Not very good. Let's see. work. So I think I'm going to do that because I think he pops off better and it kind of looks like he's in the background and the tiger's up close. And I will probably outline with my Stabella all. This circus is so much fun, it's like a house on fire. Okay, I'm just going to add that, and now I'm just going to have to figure out how to bring it together. I might have should have put more thought into this. see what I have in the way of washing. If I can find my folder. Here we go. See what we can do. I just want something to kind of Just kind of make it look better. Well, this one wants to come off, so he wants to be a part of the show. All right, maybe a little. with that. Just something to fill in the spaces. So 
sometimes these washi stickers just don't want to come up. And sometimes they want to come up when you don't want them to come up. Maybe another... Why not? I'm going to cover up that yellow. I kind of thought it'd be more translucent. And let's see. I'm just going to have fun with washies today. I do love washi stickers. They just, I don't know, they're pretty. Okay, now I need small ones just to kind of bring it over here. I mentioned in a previous video that my son is turning 29 on Saturday. And he has had me fixing him something every day. He has made requests. And we've got so much <laughs> right now, we're going to have to start hitting the leftovers. He's going to just have to deal with it. He is just milking his birthday for all he can get. And he's not such a young fella anymore. So it's kind of funny. But as a mom, I don't mind a bit. I love the rascal. So, I don't mind doing for him or his little brother. There we go. I like that. Just a little something to bring it in. But he, um, today, he's... He wants some kind of breakfast food. One of his favorite foods is French toast. So I went by Aldi yesterday and I got some brioche. So I have a cooking video, so I'm going to go ahead and film that. Because I haven't done French toast on my cooking video yet. And um, yesterday he wanted, he wanted chili. In August, which my family they they eat chili year round, and I make a huge pot, and then I end up freezing some for chili dogs. You know, I freeze some without the beans for the chili dogs, and it is hot, but I don't mind doing that. It's worth it, and I've got stuff in the freezer. Now he said he wanted tacos tomorrow, but we had nachos on Sunday. So, I don't know if he's going to get his tacos. Besides, I used to buy the hamburger meat for the tacos. I mean, nachos. Okay, so we've got that. And now, I think I'm just going to do, do a saying. Let me see. Find... I'll just use some of the scraps. I've been fussy cutting a lot, so I'll just do this. So life is a circus. I'll just cut these down. I don't know 
why I don't cut into my bowl. I don't even think about it half the time. I'm going to cut them apart so I can spread it out and lay this out. I think what I'm going to do is just go around the edge of this with the blue pen. I like that. And I am going to, I don't think I'm going to worry about distressing these because everything else is distressed. It makes it pop out. So I think I'm just going to just go around the edge and be done with that. Yeah, my son, my oldest son, he he's going to get his big birthday meal that he always, you know, picks on his birthday, which is Saturday. <laughs> and my husband told me, he says, you better be ready because me and um, Caleb, which is my youngest son, is going to want our birthday week. And Caleb's got it tough because... His birthday week is also Christmas week. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit harder to um, do him a meal every day because we're going to have so much stuff left over from Christmas. But he is pretty, pretty laid back. So uh, <laughs> he'll go with whatever and I will still have him something special. Now, I used to decorate, bake and decorate cakes. And so I was doing a cake a week when I was taking the class. So it's funny now because we got so tired of cake because we was eating so much of it, you know, doing a cake a week that my, my sons, I'm the only one that I now want a store-bought birthday cake just because it's something I don't have to do, and I, I love Kroger's cakes. And so, so Dylan, my oldest, always picks an Oreo cookies and cream cake. That's his favorite cake. And he um, usually picks either fettuccine or smoked sausages, and he, he picks smoked sausages, but he got the fettuccine on Monday, he that's one of his weekly request, week birthday week requests, and so I went ahead and um, he wanted cobbler. I did that on Sunday. He loves peach cobbler. The whole family does, but we make it one time and it's gone. The whole bowl, I mean, dish full. And I'm just doing some black splatters, and. Um, He, he got his cobbler, he got his nachos, he got his fettuccine, he got his um, chili yesterday. He's getting his breakfast item today, which it could have been pancakes or, um, like I said, I'm doing the French toast because I know that's one of his favorites and I don't do it quite as often as the pancakes and stuff. So... We're going to have breakfast for lunch today. And he and his brother both are off from work. And we're going to probably do pickup tomorrow. Because I've got bits and pieces of nachos and chili and all of this stuff in the fridge. It needs to be eaten. They cost too much to be, to be just thrown away. And I think I'm just going to, I don't know, do I want, I think I'm just going to do a little few gold splatters because that's what I do. And I'm going to add a little bit more of my gold paint in there because it's starting to get kind of diluted. But, um, and most of the stuff that Dylan likes, Caleb likes as well. Except Caleb always wants, he's more of a pie 
person. He likes pie better than he likes cake. Although he likes cake, but he'll usually eat it the first day and he's done. But you give him any kind of peanut butter pie, and his favorite is peanut butter pie. That's what he always asks for. And I do have a, his favorite cake is one I make. It's a chocolate cake with um, peanut butter icing, and it is good. And if you ever want the recipes for these, they're on my cooking channel. And my cooking channel is Susan Southern Cooking, just in case you want to know. And I'm very pleased. I have got my 1,000 subscribers there, but I haven't got my watch hours. Um, I took a, when I started this crafting, paper crafting channel, I gave up. I had a DIY channel, and I ended up giving it up. I wasn't enjoying it as much. And I also um, took a break from my cooking channel, but I like to cook, and I cook, although the cooking channel is the hardest channel to, for me to do other than this because I have to set up and show what I'm doing, um, show the ingredients, and but the videos are short. So, you know, it's a lot of work, a lot of dishes to do. Dishwasher doesn't work. So, but anyway, I digress. I still need watch hours because I lost that year's worth of views you know I've got the viewers but I don't have the watch hours you have to have 4,000 in a year and most of my videos are around five minutes so it takes a lot of watching them to get my time my hours built up so I can become monetized so I hope to be able to do that soon and I'm sorry I'm just forgetting to do what I need to do I'm gonna go around this tiger with my Stabila all. I don't think I'm gonna wet it. I'm just gonna go around and kind of make him pop from the background. But um, if you are a cook and interested in some good Southern recipes, I highly recommend you go and check out my channel there. I, I find that I do more desserts than anything and that's what I don't need a lot of because I am not skinny. But my husband says he wouldn't trust a skinny cook anyway, which is good because I'm not a skinny cook. But I do, do want to um, become monetized. I mean, who wouldn't? Especially if you're putting stuff out there. But there's a good community over there as well. I have lots of friends over there. But it does make for busy busy when you're like I did junk journal July and I was putting up a video every week I only missed two days I mean not every week but every day but I did miss two days and um, other than that I was up there every week plus adding in some of my other videos you know my Marguerite Miller and the 50 stack challenge I was also putting those up as well so that really kept me busy because it is a lot more editing to a cooking video or it's really more of the filming part that, that gets you because it's just a lot of moving and rearranging and in between it a 15 minute something to cook ends up taking over an hour sometimes so depending on what it is I like that I think I think the Stabila all just brings it out just enough you know to bring it off of the background I like that I don't necessarily think I mean as for the circus you know that goes together and Maybe the show was so great that it set the house on fire. We'd go with that. But life is a circus, and it sure is at my house. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure and check out Marguerite Miller's channel. And be sure and check out the hashtag 2023CWP32 to see what everyone else has made. You won't be disappointed. And like I said, 
you, everybody comes up with something different. And it is just so fun to see what they come up with. I'm just going to do a little edge around this. But, I mean, it's so much fun. Go and check it out and see. And I have made some really nice friends through this challenge. And I am so thankful for them. They mean so much to me. And all of y'all mean so much to me. That you take your time to watch me play with paper and glue and paint. It's just, it's so rewarding. And if you don't paper craft yourself, I highly encourage that you just do. You don't have to have a bunch of stuff. That's one of the reasons why I quit doing my DIY. It really got expensive. There was a lot of, um, you know, Dollar Tree things that you, you know, upcycles and stuff. But I ended up with so much stuff in my house that I didn't want to necessarily, you know, you get tired of it. And it cost a lot of money when I would do the upcycles furniture and stuff. Now, that was great. But there's just so much you can do. But your papers, you know, they're kind of contained. All you really need is paper. We get these digitals and all these inks and stuff. And... I bought them along you know they're not something it's not like I went out and bought everything I had at one time and some of the stuff I've had for years when I used to scrapbook so you can take any kind of junk envelopes anything throw a little paint on it you can buy paint at, at Walmart for under a dollar and just have fun with it and make something artistic with it so as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. I have reached over 500 subscribers and I will soon be sh um, doing a giveaway. I have to get it ready and um, I'm thinking about it, kind of gathering stuff. So I hope to have that soon. And so... Be sure to keep an eye out, hit that notification button so that you can be notified when I am ready to do the giveaway and for my other videos. And to show you what I've got with, um, to show you what I've got written regarding with this, I've got my text in a foreign language, something in a circus or carnival, fire, smoke, something with a spine, this man, Anything that starts with a T, a tiger, and the bonus is a sticker. And this and this was a sticker out of my antiquarian bibliography book. And life is a circus, and ain't it the truth? So y'all have a great and wonderful week, day. I love you. Bye, y'all.